Also, uh, Duke, uh, Duke Health, UNC, Wake Med, and Wake County plan on allowing 12 to 15 year olds to get the Pfizer vaccine. That'll start actually tomorrow. The Durham County Health Department is offering walk in vaccines for anyone 12 and older tomorrow as well. And there, anyone uh, 12 to 15 must be accompanied by a parent or a guardian to get that vaccine. Now that teenagers can get the vaccine, we wanted to know if parental consent is required. New at 11, CBS 17's Maggie Newland is getting us those answers. Maggie. Angela, as you heard, a lot of places in the triangle are going to start vaccinating children as young as 12 tomorrow. And while the state does not require parental consent, some vaccine providers do. I'm looking forward to it. 14 year old Marcus Monroe will get his COVID shot the first day Wake Med vaccinates his age group. Been in this pandemic for like a year and a half now, so I'm kind of ready to get it over with. I think it's important you know, that families are making these decisions together and that parents are informed. Dr. Rashida Monroe is Marcus's mom and the medical director of primary care pediatrics at Wake Med. As a health system, we have chosen to have children who are under 16 have parental consent. We just feel like it's a smart thing to do because this is still under an emergency use uh, authorization. Not all vaccine providers will require parental permission. COVID vaccination is one of those medical treatments that North Carolina says that the child is able to consent for on their own. State law allows people younger than 18 to make certain health care choices if they have decisional capacity to do so, meaning they can understand health care needs and options and can make decisions about them. They can consent to prevention or treatment of some contagious diseases like sexually spread diseases, uh, most vaccines, pregnancy testing. If a child does not have consent from a parent or guardian, UNC officials say they'll evaluate the child's decisional capacity and discuss risks and benefits of the shot. As long as they show that they have clear um, decision making ability, then we'll allow them to consent. Duke health officials say they'll welcome children 12 and older with or without a parent. If after talking with the child, the person giving the vaccine has doubts about the child's decisional capacity and a team leader agrees, they will try to contact the parents. So we're looking at a lot of different policies depending on the provider. Now, some who do want parental consent need the parent or guardian to be there with the child when they get the shot. Others will accept consent over the phone or online. And again, some don't need parental consent at all. We're live in Raleigh. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. All right, Maggie, thank you very much.